What is up guys, Jared Campisi with the beautiful Miss Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be doing another episode of the Custom X Diablo series. We're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna do it a little bit more vlog style. We're gonna be going down to Santa Barbara Ducati, meet up with Trevor and Carla and the boys, put on some uh, radiator guards, and we're gonna maybe meet up with my buddy Rupp, have some drinks, and it's Friday, so we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, take you guys along for the ride, and try to make the videos a little bit more fun and entertaining for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The lady's looking for a shirt right now. I told her I need her on the thumbnail since the videos do so much better. What are your th what are your thoughts on this shirt? I think that's pretty good. You might get a little cold though. Well, I'm gonna wear a jacket. It's pretty chilly outside. Okay. I just realized so I'm shaking because I haven't eaten anything today. Yes, we haven't eaten. Let's get beers and pretzels while Trevor does work. Let's carb up. Let's carb up. Yeah, apparently people are saying Christina looks pregnant. I don't know what you guys think a pregnant lady looks like, <laughs> but I don't think it's that. <laughs> let me uh, let me take them downstairs and show them what we're gonna install today. To That's messed up. Just keep it on you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see how it is. All right. So as you guys know, we are in the process of customizing this beautiful X Diavel, and then we're gonna be giving it away when we're done. Uh, anyone who supports the series via a website called Patreon is entered to win the bike. We also have a second grand prize. We're going to be giving away a motorcycle of your choice and that will be offered worldwide. So if you're interested in having a chance to win one of those prizes, make sure you check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to be installing radiator guards to protect the radiator and the oil uh, cooler. And I just picked up a pair from Evatech, I believe it is, Evatech Performance. And I just wanted black ones, so blacked out. There's for the radiator guards and the oil cooler guard. And super simple. Trevor said this might be a little bit involved, so hopefully it's not too intense today. Um, and then we're gonna be doing drag bars. As I mentioned, I couldn't find any online that were like made drag bars ready to go. So I think Trevor is actually gonna cut, build us a custom set. He just didn't have time this week, so maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So did you throw them in the bag there? No? Just left them, left them on the counter? No. Cool, thanks babe. Uh, I'll meet you down there, Deans. I'm gonna hop on the bike. Okay. Excuse me. That's a breathtaking hiney you have there. Excuse me. I'm up here, Jared. So I, I wanted to mention once again, uh, 650 and myself will be at MotoGP, Circuit of the Americas, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, April 12th through the 14th, I believe it is. Um, so we'll be there hanging out. I think we're gonna do a little meetup at a local Ducati shop, <clears throat> although neither of us are gonna have bikes. I think we're gonna rent maybe a car or something and come to that. And then um, I'm actually looking for a personal bike for myself, uh, along with looking for the next build series bike. Uh, I'm gonna stick with what you guys said. Everybody said they want a naked bike, so I'm gonna get a naked bike for the next build series bike. Not sure yet if I want you guys to vote on the exact bike or if I should just pick one of the most popular ones and uh, just surprise you guys. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. And then, um, yeah, on my own, I'm looking for a personal bike for myself. And as I mentioned, I'm kind of, I'm not over sport bikes. I mean, I'll always love sport bikes. They'll always be my first love. But from riding this X Diablo around the past couple of months, I realized um, just how amazing it is to ride a bike that's comfortable and just like no, no hassle, no heat, no like super uncomfortable. It's not begging you to go five times the speed limit. You can still have fun at low speeds. So I don't know, I was thinking about maybe a custom monster for myself. Um, I'll put a picture up of a couple that I found that I really liked. Um, or I actually really like the new Diablo 1260S. Um, so that's one I was thinking about as well. Um, I like the black version, just get a blacked out version, maybe throw some carbon wheels on it and exhaust and call it done, you know, so I can just ride that thing and not have to really worry about customizing it. Check it out guys, they're getting things cleaned up in here. Look at how nice it looks. And actually they're working on the dyno as well. I think that's gonna be up and running next month. So we'll be able to put bikes on the dyno here. I won't have to go all the way down to Oxnard. And then, who do we have in here? Who is this? Who is this? Is this the manager? Oh, Sonny. Oh my gosh, he's finally healed. Look at him, he's the best. Oh, you're a good boy, Sonny. We love you. Teen's taking over Carlin's room. Guys, we rolled up here today. Trevor came out wearing a Ducati, official Ducati jacket. He said this is what they make you wear at the factory when you're working at the factory. I told him he looked like he was gonna go slice meat. He looks like a butcher. <laughs> slice some meat up. So, um, as I mentioned, doing radiator guards and oil cooler guard, and he said it's actually quite a bit involved. So we're gonna let him do his thing. 
So check it out guys, I was just talking to Trevor, I was telling him some ideas for my own personal bike. I said I really like this monster. He said they have something out on the floor it's very similar to this. But I also really like the Diavel. Look at that thing, dude. The new 1260 Diavel. I think this is the S model. It comes in black. Look at that. There's almost nothing to do to it. It looks so good. Just base stock, you know? 160 horsepower. I think it's nasty. Okay, yeah, so this is an S4, I believe. S4 RS. It does look pretty damn similar to that other one. Put some clip-ons on that thing. Wow, that looks really freaking cool. Look at that. And they also have the Street Fighter. I think this is a 848 Street Fighter? I can't remember. Man, that thing looks good. Yeah, 848, look at that. I hope they do a Street Fighter with the V4. I think that'd be so sick. And actually, look at the 749. Ooh, God, that bike looks so good. I think this one's actually for sale. I'm not positive, but that would be a really cool bike just to roll around the streets on. Look at that thing. Oh, it looks so good. This is really cool too. Check out this BMW that they're restoring. And I'm not sure if Trevor built this or not with a sidecar. Look how epic that is. Put teens on the sidecar. <laughs> That's really freaking awesome. So originally I thought that this was not for sale, but apparently it is for sale. Desmo Sedici RR. That thing is ridiculous. Has zero miles? Zero miles. So we, we took it out of the crate and we mothballed it right away. It's number 1,203 out of 1,500. So the crazy thing about these Desmo Sedici's, Ducati said they were only gonna do 500 originally. Yeah. And then they instantly sold out 500 in typical Italian fashion. They're like, we we're only just gonna make more. <laughs> I think we should make more. <laughs> so then they, they bumped it up to 1,500 in the next round and they got more expensive. So this was the second round and actually better because they figured out a lot of issues with yeah. the first batch. Um, valve spring updates been done. It's, uh, it's had all its updates, everything we've done to it, but it's never been written or used or anything. So crazy. Do you know roughly what you guys are asking for it? Uh, 75 grand for it. That's a, that's a collector's. I mean, it's the last of the original bikes. Everything yep. after this had electronics, had safety amenities. Rider it's modes. Last of the motorcycles that genuinely wants to kill you. <laughs> but no, in all actuality, uh, it's... It's probably one of the most fantastic bikes to ride. It's like it's what I've heard, and it sounds insane. It sounds insane. It's it's raw and it's hot, and you can feel the bike vibrate. You, you can tell the bike's alive. There's no amenities to like dumb it down. Yeah. Like you know, make it nice and happy for everybody. <laughs> this is like the last of the real machines. Yep. It's pretty cool. That's and a it, piece of history. And it's just gonna get more and more valuable, especially when it's as immaculate as this. Yeah. Kind of and they're still super rare, even though they made 1500. This is the first one I've oh, ever seen. Super rare. Yeah. Because you know what happens, a lot of people let people who aren't Desmo Sedici certified work on them and they screw them up. It's mm -hmm. so easy to mess this motor up yep. what you're doing. But if it's taken care of, we just heard of one yesterday that has 35,000 miles on it. No shit. So it's like, if you, if you know what you're doing, God, that's so sick. the bikes are super reliable. Yeah. Look at this thing, dude. And this was this the first ever V4 that Ducati produced for street? A street well, bike? Te technically the first ever V4 was the Apollo. Oh, okay. It was like a cop bike back in the day, but really in like modern Ducati era, yeah, this is the, the first V4. I mean, it was, it was a kind of like the Loris Caparossi, Troy Bayless era, uh -huh. the Desmo Sedici's, you know, right before the Stone era. It's so, so awesome. The, the last of the Chromoly frame, um, thousand CC bikes. Look where the freaking steering damper is. It is cool. <laughs> that is cool. so freaking All cool. Handmade, just, it's, an amazing machine. Quite yeah. the experience to ride it. Well, thank you, man. That's freaking wild. So if anybody wants one, hit up Carl in here, Ducati Santa Barbara. All right, just checking in on Trevor. He got the side panel off here, and the original cover for the, actually comes with an oil cover. So basically, he's gonna be swapping this one out for this one, which obviously looks a lot better. So that's what he's working on right now. Um, I think I might go down to the brew house and grab a beer because and something to eat because I'm starving. So I'll check in with you guys in a little. Yeah, so Trevor just told me he's gonna have to take the entire radiator off in order to do this. So what it's gonna are you him do? it's gonna take quite some time. And I didn't even have the carbon parts yet right now. We could have swapped those out too. Unfortunately they're just not here yet, so uh, I'm not gonna make it three hours sitting here without eating some food. Neither is teens. So we're gonna head down to the brew house. And get a triple. Get a triple Ouch. and something to eat. Stay tuned. So this is the brew house. They have such good food. Obviously local breweries, beers. The neighborhood is where we play uh, ping pong. 
So maybe we'll have to get some ping pong in. Oh, and if you guys remember when I did the girlfriend washing my motorcycle video, it was actually right there at, that, at those uh, wash shops. I'm trying to forget about remember that. Remember that? <laughs> That's back when you, I had to force you to be in a bikini yeah. at all. Let's check in. So one of the other reasons we came down here, guys, is we're celebrating because Christina and I are going to visit her mother in the Ukraine, and it'll be the first time she see her for 18 years, and her brother. Seven years. It's gonna be an amazing reunion. Yeah, so we're really excited. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to film. Be a very emotional summer. Yeah, I'm excited, and we're gonna share that all with you guys. Ninety days from today. Ninety days from today. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Cheers, babe. If you're wondering what we're drinking, I ordered an apricot wheat, 4.9% uh, uh, brewed here at the brew house, and Christina got a triple, which is 9%. They're very good, but obviously I'm riding at some point, so I'm going to keep it nice and light today. And also, I don't drink and ride. I'll have like one drink, you know, or if I do drink more than one, I'll make sure multiple hours have passed. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about me riding and drinking drunk or any of that stuff. I don't do that. Yeah, I do not do that. So, yeah. So, we ordered a B Bavarian pretzel and a pint. Rupp took the pint. What'd you order? A uh, double. A double? A double. Hey, from one apricot to a double. <laughs> oh, she dominated us. You didn't even cheers me. Oh, man. So, we ordered homemade chips with gorgonzola cheese. Teens, try one. What do we think? I don't even have cheese on my chips, but it's very good. They're good, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I love them. All right, so we're back at the Ducati shop. I'm gonna check in with Trev, see how he's doing, if he's still cutting meat or if he's working on the bike or not. <laughs> These two are gonna go to Finney's and I'll come meet up with him in a little bit. Maybe we'll play some ping pong. All right, see you guys. <laughs> Check it out guys, perfect timing. Trevor's just reinstalling everything here and man, look how good that looks. Not only is it nice and blocked out now, but it's gonna protect it from rocks and debris and things like that. And it just looks so freaking perfect. We're in. Just put the last bolt, <laughs> just put the last bolt in. But unfortunately, you're gonna have to take all that apart when you do these, huh? Yep. This is what we do to this poor guy. Trevor, we appreciate you, brother. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm gonna go uh, find teens and we'll take some pictures. Trevor was just mentioning he thinks it'd be really cool if we took these pieces off on each side and then blocked them out except for these nice machined bits here in the center and then it would match the black and silver theme that we're going for here. Basically this piece too. So in here it would be silver and then all the rest of this would be black. I think that'd be a really cool idea. And obviously these are gonna be carbon, this will be carbon, and he said maybe we could even powder coat this black. Depending, it might match really well. We'd have to wait and see, but yeah, it looks really good. Look at that. Now the radiator and the oil cooler is protected, blacked out, and looking fantastic. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. So I gotta run down and meet up with Teens and Rupp, and uh, Trevor said he's gonna flatten these out so that they're uh, matte just like this right here. And he's gonna do that while we're gone, so uh, this is what they look like now. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, just met up with Teens and Rupp. What are you drinking? The blood orange wet. All right, I'm gonna have a couple sips of this. They got another pretzel going. What are you having? Prankster. The prankster, oh yeah, that one's good. And then we got the Celtics playing in Boston. No, Boston are the Celtics. Indiana, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Living the dream. I'm gonna take him back up and show him the bike when we're done. I picked up these two hooligans. Oh wait, let me fix my hair. They, they, they haven't been, they haven't stopped drinking since God knows how long. I'm just kidding, I drank all of Christina's beer. Don't worry, I'm going to ride right now, so you don't have to comment below. <laughs> we're gonna go back, show them the uh, radiator guards, and we're gonna see if Trevor polished up the old uh, clear carbon there. Okay. Okay. I see, I see you. Back. Calm down. All right. Calm down. I'll come right back on my FDI. I'll whip your ass. Teens, what do you think of the radiator guards and stuff? It, it cleans it up so much. It looks good, right? It's beautiful, yeah. Are you stumbling around? No. How many beers did you have? Trevor's over here working his ass off in his butcher's uniform. <laughs> Look at him. 
I, I said he was gonna have pigs just hanging up. He's butchering, slaughtering pigs over here at the Ducati shop. It's actually really good. I mean, it because it ties in the bike from the front end. Yeah, it looks epic. You don't see the dead bugs. Especially once this is carbon, right? I know. We crushed some bugs on our Malibu trip. Look at him. Sonny, do you approve, Sonny? He's like, I'll bite somebody. So there you go, guys. That's the end of this episode of the Custom XD Owl series. Again, if you're interested in winning this bike, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Uh, we're going to run down, play some ping pong, grab another beer or two, and enjoy our Friday night. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this more vlog style video, let me know in the comment section below. And I think that's it for now. Next episode, we're going to start stripping the tank and uh, building the drag bar. So that's going to be epic. Make sure you stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you did. Like the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.